guys. Welcome to today's tutorial. And today we are going to learn how to authenticate users from mobile application. So we are going to create an app that has user login, where user will provide the username and the password. Once the username and the password matches the one we have in our database, we are going to allow the user to log in. If not, we are going to draw an error of incorrect credentials. I'm also going to show you how we can be able to log the request body and the request body. The request body and the response body. So I can try the same using Postman. Let's see. I have the username as Richard and the password is password123. So if I try with the long credential, we are getting an error message of unable to log in with the provided credential. So I'm going to create another user. I'm going to create username Richard K. Password pass it one two three four. So user has been created successfully. Let attempt again using Richard K. I'm going to provide a long password. Unable to log in with the provided credential. But when I provide the correct password, I'm able to log in successfully. From my console, you can see we have the response body as Richard K ID 11, and we have the request body as password and username. So let's get started. This is a fresh project which I'm going to use. So the first thing I'm going to add is let fit. The current version is 281. I also need converter library. I'm going to use JSON. And I'm also going to add HTTP logger to enable me to log the request body and the response body. Let me sync the project. I'm also going to add compile options. I'm going to have source compatibility. It's about version. I'm going to use one eight and target compatibility. Then I'm going to sync my project. Yes, now you're good to go. I'm going to create a user service. This is where I'm going to place all my calls. Should be an interface. So I'm going to do a call for user login. I'm going to provide at body and my request body is going to have username, login request. I'm going to provide private string username, private string password. Generate getters and setters. So the request body will have login request. Now I'm going to expect a login response. So our login response
looks like this we have the username email and the user id so i'm going to have private int user id private string email private string username i'm going to generate getters and setters So I'm going to get login response. So as you can see, I'm going to post. And the relative URL that I'm going to post is authenticated. From the postman, you can see I relative URL is authenticated. So I'm going to post to authenticate. So I'm going to expect a response, login response, and the data that I'm going to post is login request. I'm going to create a client class that is going to provide me with user service. So I'm going to have private static letter of it get letter of it. Letrofit, Letrofit is equals to new. Letrofit dot builder dot build. I'm going to add converter factory, which is my JSON. Converter factory dot create. I'm also going to pass base URL. As you can see from the postman, our base URL is API. Lantech.net. And I'm also going to pass the log. dot builder dot add interceptor which is now our http log interceptor dot build so i'm going to pass this one as grant and then i'm going to return it i'm also going to have another method here which will be public static user service get user service So we have user service, user service is equals to get letter of it. Dot create user service dot create class. And then I'm going to return user service. So my letter of it is set. Now what we are going to do is create our login layout here. So I'm going to have text again. Lab content, lab content, I'm going to have text, login to continue. I'm going to give it top margin of 100. I'm going to give it text color of primary, dark, and I'm going to align it center. So gravity, center horizontal. And the size of the text I'm going to give it 18. Actually, let me give it 24. I'm also going to have my text, my edit text. Text input, edit text. I'm going to lab content, 
lab content i'm going to give it type and i'm going to give it i'm also going to give it id username I'm going to give this one margin top button start margin also going to give it 30 and the end margin I'm going to give it 30. The width should be much parent. I'm going to copy paste this one. And this one should be adding password. And the type is text password. I'm going to give hint password. And this one I'm going to give it hint password username. I'm going to have button. Actually, in much parent, I'm going to give it a margin of 30. Text, I'm going to say login. Current, I'm going to give it primary. Background current, I'm going to give it primary. So that's all guys, I'm done creating the route. So the next thing we are going to do is to find this edit text. So we have ID username, ID password. So we have text input, edit text. We have username and we have password. Let's have button button log so we have username find view by id and dot id dot id username we have password find view by id and dot id dot id password we have button log find view by id and dot id dot let me see and give it id button login so I'm going to save button login dot set and click listener new view dot on click listener so the first thing I'm going to check if username the password is empty if text utils dot is empty so I'm going to check username dot get text dot string or text util dot is empty password dot get text dot string if it's empty I'm going to draw a toast I'm going to say username or password required. You can provide any message that is going to be shown when username or password is empty. So we have toast that make length long dot show. Else, if the username and password are provided, I'm going to proceed to log in. So let me create a method that will allow me to log in public void login. So 
So for me to log in, I'm going to have a call, which is going to give me login response, which is equals to API client dot get user service dot user login. So for the user login, I'm supposed to pass the request body, which is login request. So I'm going to create login request, login request, new login request. Login request dot set username username dot get text dot string login request dot set password password dot get text dot string then I'm going to pass it to my user login method. I'm going to kill this request and I'm going to listen to the callback. So the callback method provides us with two methods that is on response and on failure. So I'm going to listen if response is successful. I'm going to toast and say login successful else I'm going to toast and say authentication failed login failed else if our request fails I'm going to show why the request failed so I'm going to have robo plus t dot get localized message so when you click the button and you have provided the username and password i'm going to call the method to login remember to add internet permission and then i think now we are good to learn our application and see So the Gradle build is learning. As it is learning, let's we can proceed and create a new activity whereby we are going to know the user that is logged in. So we can create an empty activity here. Let's call it logged in user or dashboard. The app is installing, let's see, launching. Yes, so when I attempt to log in, username or password required, when I provide Richard, pass it one, two, three. Login successful, but we have not directed the user to the other activity. So as you can see from the console, we have our request body, and we have our response body here. So I'm going to direct if the login is successful. I'm going to direct the user to our dashboard activity that is after seven seconds. After seven milliseconds. So I'm going to start activity new intent so i'm going to move from this activity and i'm going to go to dashboard activity and i'm going to pass the username so remember our response body so we have login response login response which is now a response body So for me to pass the username, I'm going to get username. So dashboard activity, I'm going to display the username. Let me use relative layout. T 
text again, lab content, lab content. I'm going to center. And I'm also going to have the text as welcome username. The ID should be username. Size, I'm going to give it 18. So I'm going to have text here, that is username. We have intent, this is what how you get extra data passed from one activity to the other. Get intent, so if intent dot get extra not equal to null, I'm going to get the data, so I'm going to say, First, let me find this username. Username. Go to find view by ID. All dot ID dot username. This username is this one. So I want to set text. So we have string username. First username. This is the username of the logged in user, which you have passed from the main activity. So I'm going to get string extra data. Then I'm going to set it to our username dot set text. Welcome class first username. So let's learn our app again and see. So Gradle build, it's learning. So installing. It's launching the app. So then I'm going to say, Richard, pass it one, two, three. First, let me try the long password and see. Login failed. When I try the correct password, login successful, welcome Richard. That's all guys. Uh, I'll leave the link in the description where you can go, create a new user, and try to authenticate your user. For any question or additional help, feel free to comment below. If you're new here, consider subscribing for more tutorials. Thank you guys.